Good evening. There is a bushfire emergency in 2J tonight and firefighters are struggling to get the upper hand on the blaze. We can tell you the fire is out of control and unpredictable. Homes in Salt Valley Road are under threat and the fire is moving fast in a southeasterly direction. At least two structures, possibly sheds, have already burned down. Scott Cunningham reports from the fire zone. Bushfire emergency. Flames tear across 2J. Strong winds fan the flames as the searing heat makes conditions almost unbearable for the more than 100 firefighters battling the blaze, which broke out at 1.30 this afternoon. Homes along Salt Valley Road under threat. The fire moving fast, out of control and unpredictable. Residents say the fire was fast and frightening. We were just coming up the road and we noticed the sparks must have come down in the ash cloud, started the blaze in the paddock. So we just rocked up, tried to deal with a bit and then the big water bomber came in. We live just up the road so we'll just make sure that our house isn't burned down. For many locals it was too late to flee their property and they were forced to stay and defend for the second time. It's been five years and one day since this massive fire ravaged the Wheatbelt town, destroying 38 homes. For locals who've prayed history wouldn't repeat itself, the devastation of the day is still raw. I was only thinking of my family and once I knew they were safe, it was good. And Scott Cunningham is live at the command post in 2J tonight. Scott, the situation isn't looking good out there. Tracy, well, as we go to air tonight, we understand that two structures have already burnt down. They were filmed, uh, seen on fire from the Nine News chopper a little earlier uh, this afternoon. But as we go to air, we understand that there has been no serious damage to homes. Now, right now, I'm at so Salt Valley Road, which is inside where an emergency warning is currently in place. There's a command post that has been set up behind me. Uh, there's more than 100 firefighters that are fighting this uh, from the ground to try and get this blaze under control, as well as a number of helitacks uh, that have been dumping water on this fire uh, since about 1.30 this afternoon. As you can hear uh, behind me, you can probably hear that chopper noise at the moment. Now, there is an evacuation point that has been set up for anyone in the area that is looking for somewhere to go. That's at the 2J Town Hall. But no doubt these firefighters will have a job ahead of them as we go into the night. Tracy. All right, Scott, we'll cross back to you later in the bulletin. Thank you.